What is up YouTube? Welcome to Brew Strength Day 69. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the series. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. So for this training I started out with weighted chest bar pull-ups and yes it is weighted you just can't see the weight really well it's, but it's only two and a half kg and as mentioned in the um, last training where I did weighted pull-ups I wanted to focus more on um, just doing reps with like no leg swing it like kip at all so for this one I, I didn't uh, kip with my legs at all you can see my legs are completely straight at all times and this definitely makes a noticeable difference in the performance but I still feel pretty solid on like some of the sets like the first and second set I feel like I could have done like two or three like three reps more probably without not even using any leg swing which is very 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 nice considering I got like what like 10 reps with two and a half kg four days prior so if I can do like nine without any leg swing like keeping that is um, means I can definitely do more than 10 I can probably do 11 with two and a half kg but the, my main reason for doing it like this is just I want it to be just raw pull-up strength um, and that's how I'm going to continue to do it next week is six sets of six and I'm going to go up to five kg and start with four sets of four five sets of four six sets of four do the same thing with sets of five and then do the same thing with sets of six now for the new lateral raise variation that I'm doing now as I mentioned in the last one I, I was going to move on to this because I got a set of 20 reps with the 16 kg dumbbells so I'm also doing this extremely controlled as you can see I actually did a set before this and I was like fuck I've never felt my lateral shoulders like my side delts as much as I do here and I think it's because it's just like totally isolated and then also because I'm controlling the eccentric so 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 much but the thing that I realized is that first of all like you can see I have like a big stretch in the bottom but then I rolled back a little bit on the way up so I want to avoid that and also when I get on to the, um, to the next video where I try to get an even bigger stretch by moving the dumbbell down in front of me you'll see that the position like the, the um, line on the way up that the dumbbell follows it's not the same as on the way down so I want to make sure that it's better by constantly just like thinking about just like moving it backwards constantly like straight out to the side so yeah that's a few things I have to work on in terms of the setup I think but I should have a lot, of, a lot more time tomorrow with a lot less need for um, just pacing through my training so I'll have more time trying to play around finding the optimal setup which um, should help me but you can see it here like on the way down I bring it like for some reason way more in front of me and on the way up I actually like how it, it looks a, a lot more which is weird like like I think the line that I'm using on the way up should be way 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 harder but for some reason I'm using another line on the way down where it's obviously easier on the eccentric maybe something is wrong with my setup but yeah I felt my lateral shoulders really good anyways more than I've ever done in the standings so I can't wait to push these with absolute perfect form now moving on to the preacher curls I finally managed to beat my own record um, so I got 16 reps which is plus one from what I've done before um, and yeah the form I think is a little bit more controlled as well if I think back of like how I've done it before so that is also something to say, take into consideration especially as I start to get towards the last few reps I really focus on just like getting the full stretch and controlling it a little bit more because I, I want to limit the 
change of injury risk as I get closer to failure. So this is the 15th rep. You can see that is not come. Actually, I think that was the 16th maybe. Well, that was definitely definitely the 15th. So not completely difficult. Then the 16th here. Yeah, you can see that I'm grinding a lot. But I mean, I've done more grindy reps than that. Reps than that. And that is also why I attempted to do rep number 17. But I mean, I just didn't have any more in me. Then in the back of set, I only got 11, so not even more than I've done before in the second set. But I know that if I didn't attempt the rep number 17, I would definitely have had enough in me to do 12 reps for sure. That is absolutely guaranteed. Like those reps where you just like try to get it off, you're just sitting there trying to grind for a couple of seconds and the weight doesn't move at all. Like those are the most fatiguing reps that you can do. Like those are already at, at past RP10, so they're even more fatiguing than a rep like this where I totally just like grind it out because here I'm actually able to complete it. So if that is exhausting, then imagine like trying to just like grind away like just like isometrically. Like that is the most exhausting thing that you can probably do. I mean, this is not even isometric training. It just becomes isometric because I don't have more strength than 33 kg in my biceps. Like I've gone from maybe being able to do like 50 kg for one to not even being able to do like 33 kg for one. Like that is a huge um, decrease in performance if you think about it like that. If it was just isometric, I'm. I would still be putting like 50 kg of force into the bar, but it would just not move because there was a pin like holding it back. But here it's just not moving because I've lost so much strength for all the accumulated sets. Then again, I end up with um, just a set with 5 kg less just to accumulate more volume. And I'm pretty sure for this set I managed to get what like 13 reps maybe just 12 so just the same as that as that i've done before in the back off set but it is what it is like the first set improved which was like the most important I actually think it was only 12 like one less than i've done before but i said before that i got 10 so that's one more than i've done before in my third set so overall i got one more rep i got a pr in the first set so overall, really good training and I'm excited to continue um, playing around with the lateral well, raised variation just to um, master it 100% and to see where my pull-up strength would, will go now that I'm focusing a little bit more on just like isolating and not using any momentum from the hips. That is all for day 69 and I'll see you all later. I'm out.